and not allow him to get to the rim, get to the free throw line, and create for others. You want to make him shoot threes and make him do something that he's not quite as comfortable doing. Rick Crawford will throw it up. Burt Smith and Doug Sermones are our other two officials, and we are underway. Arkansas wins a toss as Washington out jumps Henry, and Fortson has it in the front court, and the Razorbacks have a chance to strike first. Britt. Out front to Rotney Clark between the circles, holding the ball. He's guarded by Polonese. Now to Fortson. The Rebels open in a man-to-man -man defense. Fortson dribbling on Polonese, works it toward the left wing, has a high dribble, fires in the lane to Washington on the drive, knocked out of his hands by Henry and grabbed by Cranston, and Washington is shaken up. It's a five-on-four here as Washington's in the backcourt, shaken up. Now White, Washington trying to come down. He throws his head brand away. Now he joins everybody else. Well, he couldn't score on five-on-four. Now time called as Washington does get into the – Defensive mix are going to stop the action for him because he is hurt. Johnson will come in for Arkansas. Delvon Johnson is a 6'9 junior from Chicago, averages three points, two rebounds, and Washington will have to lead, uh, leave the game holding his – looked like he may have gotten a finger in the eye or something. Yeah, it looked like he either got an elbow or a finger, something to the, to the head. But uh, I like the matchup with Tariqa White on Courtney Fortson. The only issue, he's got to watch and make sure he doesn't get in foul trouble. You want to play good defense, but you also want to stay in the game. Arkansas on a man-to-man. Polonese has it out front. Drives the left elbow on Rotney Clark. Bounce pass down to Cranston. He backs in on Johnson. Spins, hangs, a little six-footer short. No good. Fortson had the rebound and lost it out of bounds. Johnson was there, saw Fortson and gave up on it. Then Fortson just kind of knocked it away and out of bounds. And he's upset with Johnson, but really, Courtney should have had that ball. Yeah, he went up and, and grabbed it, and, and the ghost got him. There was nobody around, and, and just kicked it right out of bounds. But right there, that's not really DeAndre's shot. He wants to move and go on that left shoulder and with that right-handed hook. That time they forced him to the baseline for the fadeaway jump shot. Ball comes into Henry on the inbounds. No score, 19.03 to go in the first half. Chris Warren dribbles to the right wing, feeds right corner to Polonese, back to Warren in the wing. Arkansas has stayed in that man-to-man. Uh, -man. Left side, it goes to Tariko White, now into Henry at the free throw line. Henry drives, pulls up for a 10-foot jumper. Good. Nice soft jump shot left of the lane for Henry. Rebels take a 2 to nothing lead. Yeah, good move. He caught it in the center there and, and saw that there wasn't anybody around him. One hard power dribble, dribbling with the purpose to get it a better angle for that shot, knocked in the jump shot. Keith, we've been watching Terrence for two years, and he just grows up each game, doesn't he? There's a steal for Henry as he anticipated a pass from Fortney from a uh, Fortson and picks it off. Now Warren goes by Fortson for the driving layup. High on the glass and gets the basket. Rebels up four to nothing. Yeah, nice move by Chris. But back to Terrence. He's a guy, you know, you can just see the confidence and the confidence in himself. The coaching staff has confidence in him, and he's just playing so much better. And, and you'd love to see him to continue to develop. Fortson to Clark. Polonese is on Clark. Now to Britt. Warren's got Britt. Interesting, Fortson has Tariqa White on him, which is a bigger guy. Clark has Polonese on him, which is a bigger guy, but Britt is bigger than uh, Warren in the man-to-man. -man. Drive down low, turning layup is good. A little hook shot along the baseline there by Powell. He has the first two for the Razorbacks. Well, and Marshawn Powell is the guy for Arkansas, David, that not a lot of people forget. You know, they forget about this guy. He's averaging 15.7 rebounds, uh, a, a great player. You're going to have to obviously watch him as well. He scored 25 at state, had a double-double against Alabama with 18 points, 10 rebounds. Into Polonese, Polonese in the lane, feeds to Cranston, drives for the layup. It's blocked from behind, and Clark picks it up off the floor. 4-2 score. Block shot there, I believe, by Johnson. That may have been Powell. There's a long shot by Fortson, a three from out front. The lefty gets it, and Fortson has his first basket of the game, and Arkansas is a one-point lead, 5-4. to four. Well, in transition there, you lose your matchup. Nobody finds Fortson. That's the thing you don't want to let him do is to get those wide-open threes where he can get going. Polonese driving for a finger roll, and it's blocked out of there by Johnson. Pass up the floor, stolen by Cranston. Rebels have a two-on-one. Henry for three, in and out, no good. Cranston gets a rebound. Back out to Henry. He's going to shoot it again. No change his mind. Gives to Tariko on a corner. He'll shoot it. Got it. Three, right corner. Tariko White. Well, and Ter Terrence did a great job with the pump fake there to draw the defense, and as the defense came, kicked it right to Tariko, who's the better three-point shooter, and let him knock down the wide-open shot. 7-5, to five, Ole Miss leads by two. 16-45 to go in the first half. Fortson eases it up. Has it between the circles, waiting for something to develop. He points inside, feeds to Clark in the left wing. Polonese is tight on Clark, really agitating him. Clark with a bounce pass. Short bounce pass to Powell, back to Clark. He drives in, a runner in the lane is off the back iron. A tip won't go. Another tip is good by Powell. Hanging on the rim, though, was a, a Brit looked like. But Arkansas's tied it at 7-7, and now as Polonese cuts across the top of the key, he is fouled by Fortson, and Courtney Fortson will have his first, and that's the first on the Razorbacks. Yeah, it was a strange situation. Britt went in to, to try a tip dunk, and he's hanging on the rim as the other Arkansas player tips the ball in. I'm not sure what the call should have been there, but there was two Arkansas players right around the rim. 
6'7", sophomore from Irmo, South Carolina. Murphy Holloway is checked in the game for the Rebels. Number 31, 10 points. Leads Rebels with 6.5 rebounds per game. Washington is back in for Arkansas. As he gets in for Johnson. Polonese dribbling. Left elbow trying to get around Clark. Drives the lane. Jump stops. Throws it up. Got it. Wow. Wow. Anil Polonese came in on the right side. Scored with the left hand. Coach Pelfrey wanted traveling, didn't get the call. 9-7, Rebels by two. Well, he's using that height advantage against Rodney Clark, just using his body, got it all the way down, and then made a nifty little move with the left hand. There's a deflection by Cranston, goes into the backcourt, off the foot of Fortson, and it will go to Ole Miss. What a nice play by DeAndre Cranston at the top of the key that forces the turnover on the Razorbacks of Arkansas. We've got a timeout with 15.48 to go in the first half. The score's Ole Miss 9, Arkansas 7. Back in a minute on the Ole Miss Basketball Network. David Kellum, Keith Carter with you again here at Tansmith Coliseum in Oxford. Ole Miss leading Arkansas 9-7 with 15-48 to go in the uh, first half here in the early goings. The Razorbacks are 3 of 4 from the floor. Ole Miss 4 of 8 rebounds, 3-2 to two in Arkansas's favor. It's time now to get in the huddle by going inside the Ole Miss huddle. Brought to you by TupeloSports.net. Each game, Andy Kennedy allows Keith Carter to come in and listen to his conversation with the team. And Keith is able to come over and give it to us, so we'll get a report on what AK is thinking about the first few minutes of this one. Well, there was a situation where Anil was uh, helping out off of, off of Fortson a little bit and allowed him to get that open three in transition. They were talking about making sure in transition, David, you don't necessarily have your man. You've got to find the closest man to you and match up until you can, can switch and get back on your man. They said transition is going to be a big key. They set up a play right here for Murphy. They're going to try to get a backdoor lob, but it looks like Arkansas is going to go into the zone, so they're probably going to run something different. To Holloway at the elbow, drives in lane, feeds left corner to Warren, now out to White, now to Polonese. Polonese tries to drive, back to Tarico. he'll shoot a three, left wing, short, air balled it, out of bounds it goes. That's your get in the game moment inside the Ole Miss huddle, brought to you by TupeloSports.net, Tupelo, where athletes go to get in the game. Well, that didn't work out so good. Arkansas has got the ball down two, and we'll work it into the front court. Picking up the dribble in the left wing is Britt. And now has it knocked out of his hands by Tariko White. Back to Powell. Powell drives the lane, knocked out of his hands by Cranston, but saved by Britt in the left wing. 16 on the shot clock. Good defense by the Rebs. The fans respond to that. Courtney Fortson has it out front with Tariko White on him. Fortson backs it up toward the center circle, trying to work, get a screen. Drives on White all the way down the baseline. Lost control of the ball, out of bounds. Should have been called for palming it anyway, I think, Keith, but nonetheless, turnover there, and that's just the athletic ability of Tariko White really d up on Courtney Fortson. No doubt. He did a good job. In, 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 once Courtney gets those shoulders by you so quick, it's over, but Tariko did a good job moving his feet right there, and then with the, the strength of Tariko, he was able to use that and, and not uh, allow him to get around him. Chris Warren out front. Back door to Holloway for a slam dunk. He flushes it. Rebels go up 11 to 7. And that's the play they drew up in the huddle, David. They waited for the man to man, and then they went right back to the play. Tariko sets the back pick. Murphy Holloway finishes with the alley oop dunk. So there was the play Keith heard just moments ago, but a little bit later. Had to wait till they got in that man. Britt dribbles toward the right wing. He feeds back to Powell. Holloway has got Powell. Now right side to Fortson. 15 on the shot clock. Old Miss leads 11 to 7. Fortson dribbling out front with Tariko White tight on him. Rebs have stayed in the man so far. Fortson off his knee, but continues to keep the dribble. Now gives left to Washington. Washington going to fade and shoot a long one off the back iron. No good. Murphy Holloway has the rebound, saves it into Warren as he was kind of falling out of bounds. Rebels with the ball. Warren pushes it up hard with the dribble. Right side to Tariko White. Pulls up free throw line. 15-footer off the back iron too hard. Hits the top of the glass and rebounded by Fortson of Arkansas. 
That hit the top of the backboard and came back in instead of going over the backside, came forward, and Fortson gets a rebound, and now Fortson throws it away. He tries to get it to Rodney Clark in the right wing and threw it away. Arkansas a little bit out of sync, Keith, as Henry comes back in, and Farmer will check in for Auburn along, or for Arkansas, rather, along with Welsh, and Graham gets in for Ole Miss. Well, I think it's the length of Ole Miss, David. you you got to give a lot of credit to Tarico. He's up as, as Courtney Fortson picks that ball up. He's up shadowing the basketball. Neil Polony's really out in those passing lanes, and it forced Fortson to throw it a little farther and absolutely you know, went out of bounds. So Ole Miss with the basketball, leading by four, 11 to seven. Zach Graham trying to drive. Oh, they called him for palming it. Well, you didn't see that on the other end, though. Zach Graham, the 6'6 junior from Swanee, Georgia, averages 10 points, four rebounds per game as he's in. For Auburn, Jamel Farmer is a 6'5 junior from Chicago, Illinois. He's a guard forward swing player, averages seven points, four rebounds. And also in is Stefan Welsh, a 6'3 senior from Newport News, Virginia. There's a pass down low, and Washington gets an easy two for Arkansas. Welsh is averaging six points, two rebounds, second on the team, 48 assists. Driving is Holloway, gets the bank shot and drew the foul. He avoided the charge, Keith. Nice play by Murphy Holloway. And the foul on Washington, his first team second. Well, and it's amazing. You know, you get a play, you get a backdoor lob to Murphy Holloway. He's a guy that's been struggling, David. You know, Andy does something to try to get him involved early in the game. That he, he completes the dunk, gets the crowd into the game, gets that adrenaline going, comes right back in a couple of possessions and makes a great move like that. You'd love to see him continue that. Four points for Murphy Holloway. The Rebels are up four, 13-9. The free throw dead center. There you go. Murphy gets the free throw with no trouble. He's been struggling there, too. And Ole Miss has a five-point lead, biggest lead of the night. Down the floor come the Razorbacks. Stephon Welsh dribbles it to the left wing. Keeps his dribble as Murphy Holloway's guarding him. Now bounce pass to Clark. Zach Graham's got Clark right now. Back out front. Long shot for Welsh, a three. Good. He drained it. Nobody got to him, and Stephon Welsh has a three for the Razorbacks. 14-12 Ole Miss. Boy, he popped that one, didn't he? He did. No hesitation. Rebels in the front court with Warren. Now to Polonese. Drives the lane. Stops. Banks won't go. He's fouled as he got in there. He drew... Some traffic in his area, and the foul's on 15. That's Rodney Clark. That will be his first, team third. And I tell you what the Rebels are doing. They run that little weave motion that they run. They they call it uh, wave, David, and it's an offense that they run a lot, try to let our athletes make plays. Well, Rodney Clark is guarding Anil Polonese, and that is a, 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 a mismatch in Anil's favor. So they're trying to get him, get something going to the basket, letting him uh, work one-on-one. -on -one. That time Rodney had to foul. Polonese free throw too hard. Wow. Polonese a 76% shooter and missed that one. Murphy Holloway shooting only 44% made his just a moment ago. The Rebels shoot 67% as a team. Second one coming up for a new Polonese to give the Rebels a three-point lead. And it's on its way, and it's too hard again. He missed them both. And then tipped out of bounds by Arkansas. Henry got a hand on it, then went off the hand of Powell, so the Rebels steal a possession from the Razorbacks. A little extra bit of effort right there. Terrence Henry's got two Arkansas players around him. He gets a hand in and, and knocks it off an Arkansas player. Henry just checked in. So it's Henry Holloway, Warren. Warren's going to shoot a three off the inbounds. No, too hard on the rebound. Henry's trying to go up and over his back, fouling him is Jamal Farmer. And Farmer now gets a technical foul. Wow, they put a T on him. They ran into the traffic, into the crowd there, and teed him up. He must have said something that the guy didn't like in the striped shirt. So a foul on Farmer, his first team fourth, and a technical on Farmer. Yeah, Terrence did a good job there of, of, of boxing the player out. And, and with the height advantage, they had to hold him down, and then he gets the technical as well. Counts as a T. Counts as a personal. Technical foul on number two, Jamel Farmer. Comes at the first half at the 12.47 mark. So Farmer gets two fouls there. Five on the Rebels. Warren at the free throw line. And the first one bounces around, almost came out, held the front rim and rolled back toward the cylinder and is good. Three points for Chris Warren. I'm not exaggerating. That's what it did. Chris Warren, an 80% shooter. Made that one look hard, Chris. Come on now. Zip. Got that one easily. Four points for Warren. Rebels up for 16-12. Well, in that technical foul, David, you know, Chris is a guy. He hadn't been in the flow of this game early on. You get to go to the line, get two free throws, and, and if nothing else, it allows you to, to start feeling the rhythm of the game. Julissus checks in for Julissus Nobles for Arkansas is in the game. Freshman from Jackson, Mississippi. 61 assists, 21 steals. First in assists, second in seals. Long shot, three. Too hard for Graham. Rebound put back up by Holloway. Missed it. Steals it away from Powell. Sticks it back up on the glass with a left hand and scores. And that's Murphy right there. That's what he does. Just energy. Misses the first one. Hey, I'll go back and get another one. Exactly what he did. Finished with the left-handed layup. 
Arkansas in a man-to-man. Nobles out front. Oh, Nobles averages four points, two rebounds. Right corner, Welsh. Long shot. No, he missed it. Welsh couldn't get it to go. Rebound by the Rebels. Here comes Warren. Quick pass down to the baseline to Polonese. He works through traffic. Fade away, 10-footer. Centers and goes for Anil Polonese. Four points for Polonese. And the Rebels are up 20-12 to by eight with 12.06 to go in the first half. Biggest lead, 30-second timeout as John Pelfrey wants to talk with his team. Yeah, again, Anil Polonese gets into the paint, and with that typical Anil kind of, is he going to get in or is he not? And he hangs in the air and, and gets it up off the glass and is able to knock it down. Time now for your Ashley Furniture SEC scoreboard update. Only one other game going on, uh, actually completed earlier today. Tennessee beat Florida 61-60 in men's basketball action. Unfortunately, the Florida women beat our women here at Dan Smith Coliseum earlier this afternoon, 67 to 64. Ashley Furniture Home Store, you're going to love this place with your SEC scoreboard update. Well, and I'm telling you, David, you talk about Murphy Holloway and then the emergence of Terrence Henry. You've got two guys there at the four position that can really go, energy guys, athletic guys. And if Murphy can continue to play like he's played this first eight minutes or so, this Rebel team is going to be very difficult to beat. Full court press for the Rebels here too, Keith. It comes in to Farmer. He's double teamed and trapped in a corner. Splits it with a dribble. Gets it up the floor to Nobles. Nobles pinned it against his shoulder. That should have been a palming or an illegal dribble of some form, but they let him get away with it. Kind of hugged it and then kept dribbling. Welsh out front between the circles. He's guarded by Tariko White. Trevor Gaskins has checked in for the first time too. Gaskins guarding Nobles here in the left wing. Off a of screen, there's a switch and a pass down low, deflected by Holloway and out of bounds. Good switch and a good effort by Holloway to deflect that pass out of bounds. They tried to go back to the switcher, and it didn't work out there. Trevor Gaskins, the sophomore from Alpharetta, Georgia, at 6-2, 4.2 rebounds. Good defense with him and Holloway on that play. Now we have an official's timeout with 11.38 to go in the first half. 20-12, to 12, Ole Miss leads by eight. We owe you a local. We'll pause 60 seconds as you're listening to Ole Miss basketball. Along with Keith Carter, I'm David Kellum. Welcome back to Tan Smith Coliseum in Oxford. 11.38 to go in the first half. Our score is Ole Miss 20 and Arkansas 12. In-game stats are brought to you by Renaissance Bank, the people you trust since 1904, renaissancebank.com, member FDIC. And at this point, Ole Miss 8 of 18 from the floor, shooting 44%, 1 of 5 from three-point range at 20%, 3 of 5 the free throw line at 60%. The Razorbacks, 5 of 8 shooting, 63%. Now, Ole Miss has gotten 17 shots to Arkansas's 8 at this point. The Razorbacks are 2 of 4 from three-point range. Yet to shoot a free throw are the Hogs. Five rebounds for Arkansas and 8 for Ole Miss. And Arkansas will inbound. We'll get Keith's update from the huddle here in just a moment. It comes into Farmer. And the Rebels will be in a 2-3 zone. Noble shoots over at right wing. Too hard off the back iron. Tipped up in the air off the hand of Tariko White and back out in the wing to Welsh. Well, they went to that 2-3 zone on the out of bounds, only eight on the shot clock. Got what they wanted, a tough three, but the long rebound, Arkansas is able to come up with it. Left side to Farmer. Now out front, Gaskins and Tariko on the top of this zone. Graham, Henry, Holloway on the back side. Nobles drives, gives to Powell, goes up, loses the ball, now goes back up and banks it in on the right side for two. Six points for Marshawn Powell, the freshman out of Virginia. Well, in the huddle, David, he looked right at Murphy and said, that's exactly what you've got to do. That effort's what's going to win us the game. And they drew up this play uh, that they're going to run right here, try to get a little curl for Zach Graham. Got it. Three to the line, 15-footer short. No good. Rebound Murphy Holloway. Turns, spins, tries to bank it up, won't go, but he is fouled. As a shot is blocked out of there, but it won't count as a block. It will be a foul, though. On 33, Marshawn Powell, his first and the sixth 
on the Razorbacks. Well, David, you know, it's very simple to think about it like this, but that's a situation where the last four or five games, the Rebels get that one shot and then they're back on defense. Well, if Murphy's playing his type of game, he goes and gets that extra possession, and that's exactly what he did right here. He'll get to the free throw line. It's amazing. You know, he can get you 10 or 12 extra possessions every game just by being active. Murphy's first free throw on the way. Good. Dead center. And he's turned into Rick Barry. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Eight points for Murphy Holloway. You know, we've talked about it a dozen times. He's got a great he's stroke. Got great rotation, no good question. stroke. I don't know if it's in his body mechanics. He locks a knee before he shoots it sometime. Let's don't jinx him. Let's make another one, Murphy. What do you say? On the way, that one is in there as well. He's three for three in the free throw. You know line. what it is? It's confidence, David. You yeah. talk about it, and, and if you're playing a good total game, you're going to step up in rhythm and knock down those free throws. That's exactly what he did. Ole Miss back up by eight, matches their biggest lead of the uh, basketball game. Welsh has it out front. Fortson still not in the game for Arkansas. Warren's getting a rest for Ole Miss, too. Down to Washington, left of the block. Turns, spins, throws up a right-handed shot. Won't go. Murphy Holloway rips down the rebound and has it again. Well, and that's one of those rebounds Andy calls a man rebound. He went up in traffic, pulled it down. A couple of hands on the basketball, still held on to it. Tarico trying to drive. He's tripped as he goes down the left side of the lane. Hits his knee pretty hard. It's on number five. And Glenn Bryant, who checked in a moment ago, I missed letting you know, he's averaging three points, three rebounds, a 6'7 freshman out of Detroit, Michigan with that foul. Polonese returns for Ole Miss for Graham. Rodney Clark and Fortson are back in for Arkansas. Checking out is Farmer and Welsh. To the free throw line will go Tariko White, and he will get a one plus one. He was fouled before he took that one up. Tariko shooting 69% from the line. First one. Hits the back iron, no good, so he won't get a second. Rebound pulled down by Bryant of Arkansas. Well, now with Clark back in, he's been quiet so far, but he's a guy that can hit three or four in a row if he gets open, so you got to make sure you know where he is, and Neil Polonese guarding him at the moment. 22-14, Ole Miss leads, 10-10 to go in the first half. Fortson has it right wing. Tariko White's on him. He drives in the lane, dumps it back out to Clark. Polonese is right there with him, though, as Clark backs his dribble up to the center circle. Clark still working, wanting a screen. Dribbles the left wing, gives the Nobles, down low to Washington. His shot blocked on the glass by Henry and grabbed by Murphy Holloway. What a play by Terrence Henry. Rebels with the ball. Gaskins right wing, right corner Henry. Can he respond with a three? No. Tip up there by Holloway, won't go. Rebounded by Arkansas. It's Nobles who pushes it up the floor hard. Freshman runs down the lane, puts up a layup and scores. Boy, he pinned it against his chest again, but he went airborne. 22-16 Ole Miss. Tariko White driving, throws up a wild one, no good. Holloway with the rebound, missed it, gets the rebound again, then ripped out of the hands of Terrence Henry by Washington. Boy, there was an over-the-shoulder there I thought might should have been called on the Hogs. Arkansas with the ball, 22-16 Ole Miss leads, 9-17 first half. Still good effort, though. You, miss, you get a couple of good opportunities around the rim. Can't quite finish, but if you play with that effort, good things are going to continue to happen. Fortson kicks it out front. Wide open three for Bryant is off the front iron. Hits the back iron. Won't go. Murphy Holloway tips it over to Tariko White. Rebels have the basketball. Hogs will fall back in a man-to-man -man as Tariko gets across the center line. Fortson is guarding him. Tariko working the point here. Dribbles to the top of the circle. Gets a screen from Holloway. Gives the ball up to Trevor Gaskins. Gaskins guarded by Nobles, the freshman out of Jackson, Mississippi. Gaskins drives on him, takes him to the rack. Nope, missed the shot, didn't finish. Rebound by Washington. Long pass to Rodney Clark, driving for the layup. Basket, they got us in transition there. Rodney Clark with the bucket, and it's 22-18. Arkansas has cut it to four. Well, and, and you know, that's a deal where you've got to know where he is at all time. And Neil had the, had the depth on him. He just let him run right by him and not aware of where he was. But you've got to know where he is at all times. First points for Clark. Holloway driving with a bank shot. No, missed the glass. Gaskins rebounds it, saves it back into Henry. Now he fires it out to White as Henry's about to fall out of bounds. Now to Murphy Holloway, shoots a 15-footer, rattles in and out, no good. Rebounded by Courtney Fortson. 22-18, Ole Miss leads with 8.03 to go in the first half. And on the drive, we have a whistle and a foul as Fortson took it toward the rack. He is fouled. And that is going to be on 24, Tariko White. Tariko will have his first. That's the first foul on Ole Miss in the half. Cranston and Warren will get back in for Ole Miss. Johnson comes in for Arkansas along with Britt. Ole Miss will check out Henry and Gaskins. Arkansas will send Washington and Nobles to the bench. And it looks like the Rebels are going to go to this 2-3 zone, something they've been doing on the baseline out of bounds. You've got to find uh, Clark. He's going to run off a couple of screens, I'm sure. Clark does pop out top after inbounding the ball, but Polonese is able to get on him. Now to Fortson, right wing, fires a long three, short off the rim, falls to the floor, picked up by Tariko White, outlet pass to Warren. Warren pushes it down, two on two, gets in the lane, hangs for a bank and scores. Chris Warren right in front, laid it up in front. 
Six points for Chris. Rebels up 24-18. And that's two speedy guys going at it right there. Chris Warren all the way coast to coast with Courtney Fortson trying to guard him. But Chris looked like he showed a little more speed right there. 24-18, Ole Miss by six. 7.32 to go in the half. Britt drives the left elbow, gets a 15-footer. No good. Rebound. Fought for. Rebels give up on it, and it's taken away by Bryant. Warren was fighting Tariqa White. Both let it go, and Arkansas ends up with a basketball. Fortson, left corner, fires a three. Rattles in and out, no good. That ball was down and spun out of there. Rebounded by Holloway of Ole Miss. To Polonese, driving the lane. Polonese stops, feeds back out front. Warren, wide open, three off the left iron, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Tariqa White. Off the shoulder, Bryant puts up a bank shot, won't go, no foul. Rebound, Murphy Holloway, no, tip in, Cranston. Yes, Cranston gets the tip in. Rebels up 26-18 by eight. And a 30-second timeout called for by the Arkansas Razorback head coach, John Pelford. Well, it's a situation where if you're Andy, you're, you're, you're happy and you're sad. You're missing <laughs> some easy opportunities, but your guys continue to crash that glass and, and get more opportunities. You can't fault the effort. You'd love for our guys to maybe finish a little better around the rim. Hey, don't forget, Rebel fans, for all your Ole Miss basketball items, stop by the Rebel Shop. They offer a wide selection of Nike products in the Rebel Shop is conveniently located on the Ole Miss campus near Bought Hemingway Stadium, not too far from here at Tad Smith Coliseum either. Go by the Rebel Shop today or visit them online at OleMissSports.com, the Rebel Shop, everything for the true Rebel fan. Washington and Powell will get back in for Arkansas. Zach Graham's coming in for Ole Miss. The Rebels actually have, let's see, Warren, White, Polonese, Graham, and Cranston. The Razorbacks with Washington, Clark, Fortson, Britt, and Powell. David, you remember in that Auburn game, there were a couple of, uh, of situations where there were loose balls and they happened to roll out to Tay Waller and he was just open and it just so happened. That's the thing you've got to watch with a guy like Rodney Clark. You don't want him to get open on a situation like that where there's a loose ball. In transition, he gets open. You have to know where he is at all times. Rodney has it right wing. Rodney Clark scored 51 points against Alcorn State, an Arkansas school record. Pass the left side of Fortson, down inside of Washington on a quick pass, back out to Fortson in the wing, back to Washington as they play a two game there. Washington now feeds far corner with it. Over there is Marcus Britt. Now to Washington right elbow, 15 footer, good for Michael Washington. That may be the best ball movement we've seen out of Arkansas. 26 20, Ole Miss by six. Yeah, Washington's a good player at 6'10. He does a lot of things in the paint, he can pass the ball extremely well. Polonese from 18 out front, short, long rebound, grabbed by Fortson. Outlet pass to Clark. Clark's got a one on two with Warren. Bombs a three over him and got it. He was knocked to the floor, no foul, but what a shot there by a Rotney Clark as he gets a three. It should have been a foul, to be honest with you. Five wow. points for him, 26-23. Arkansas's back within three. Chris Warren dribbles toward the left wing. Still has his dribble, hands it to Polonese. Polonese drives down the lane, jump stops, feeds the left corner to Graham. He fires a long one, good. It's a deuce, his foot was on the line, but Zach Graham has two points. And it's 29-23, Ole Miss by six. Well, and you watch a play like that, and that's what Anil does. If he can continue to make that pass right there, he draws so much attention when he gets into the lane, David. He kicked it right out to Zach for that patented step into it jump shot. 2-3 zone for the Razorbacks. Fortson feeds right baseline Powell, shoots a 16-footer, hit the back iron too hard, rebound opposite side on the backside by Torico White of Ole Miss. Good hand in the face by Cranston on that shot defensively for the Rebels. Rico White off the screen, gives it back to Cranston, who screened. He shoots a three. No, Washington gets a rebound for the Razorbacks. Well, and in the middle of your shot, it's never good when your coach is yelling, one more. It meant that we wanted him to make it one more pass, but Cranston decided to go up for the shot. Rodney Clark drives around Polonese, and Polonese had to back tap him and fouled him there. Polonese with his first two on Ole Miss. Officials timeout, 5-10 to go in the first half. It's Ole Miss 28, Arkansas 23. Back in a minute on the Ole Miss Basketball Network.
With 5-10 to go in the first half here in Oxford, Ole Miss leads Arkansas 28-23. Time for the Ashley Furniture SEC scoreboard update earlier today. Tennessee at home hosting Florida. Got a late shot to win by one, 61-60 over the uh, Gators. That was at Thompson Bowling Arena. As we told you, too, our women's team lost to Florida today here at Tad Smith Coliseum, 67-64. Ashley Furniture Home Store, you're going to love this place. Right now, Ole Miss and Arkansas bombing at each other. The Razorbacks are 10 of 21, shooting only uh, or shooting 47%, 3 of 10 from the three-point line, 30%. The Rebels are 11 of 32, shooting 34%. One of eight beyond the arc, only 13%. So the Hawks are shooting a little bit better uh, than Ole Miss right now. But the uh, Rebels have more points at this point just simply because we've had more looks, I guess, Keith. Well, and Andy's talking to our guys. Uh, maybe one of the reasons we got more looks is he, he was talking to him about shot uh, selection. You know, Neil Polonese shoots a shot with uh, basically only one or two passes into the offense. Then Cran, like I said, while he's shooting, Andy's saying, hey, let's make one more, swing that basketball. Uh, you want to get, you want guys to shoot and have freedom, but you want guys that, that can make the shots to shoot them. And, and right there, he really wishes those guys would, would really move the offense a little more. Good defense for the Rebs so far, though, holding Arkansas to only 23. Forts in out front through six games. Rebels are second in the SEC in field goal percentage. Driving is Fortson, though. He takes that one in and scores as we brag about the defense. Good play there well, by Fortson. Excuse me, David. That's exactly what you don't want Fortson to do. You don't want him to get that deep where he can get in there and either finish or pass to his teammates. Tariqo White off a pass from Polonese. Tries to drive inside. Ball out of his hands and out of bounds. A turnover by the Rebels. 28-25. Arkansas has got it down to three with 434 to go in the first half. The Razorbacks have led by one point in the game. It's been tied at seven. Ole Miss's biggest lead, eight, came about the 12.06 mark. Man to man for the Rebs. Right side to Rodney Clark. Graham's on him. Down low to Powell. He drives for the stuff. Missed it. Overshot it, but he's fouled as he took it in by uh, Polonese. Or no, that's Henry, rather. Terrence Henry, his first and the third on the Rebels. Murphy Holloway about to come back in for the Rebs. Henry, last two games, 12 points a game, five rebounds a game, nine of 13 from the floor, four of four from three-point range. Marshawn Powell will get two shots, his first one. Hits a right iron, hits again, centers and goes. He hit every molecule, but got it to go. Six or seven points now for Powell. Arkansas shoots 68% from the line as a team. That was their first free throw as a team. Powell shoots 61%. Second one coming up for Marshawn Powell. It's a two-point game, 28-26 Ole Miss. Nobles has checked back in for the Razorbacks. With Murphy coming back in, him and Terrence in at the same time, you'd love to see some activity down low. Maybe those guys are crashing those offensive boards. Second free throw rolls off the left side, no good. Rebounded by Henry. He gives it to Warren. Henry, Warren, Holloway, Pollen, Easton, Graham out there for Ole Miss. Nobles is there for Arkansas. They're in a man-to-man. Powell, Fortson, Johnson. There's a shot by Murphy from the left elbow. 15-footer, good there. So Murphy Holloway. Arkansas also has Britt on the floor. Rebels by four. Fortson drives, reverse layup, lays it up and in. All right, we got to slow this guy down. Seven points for Fortson. It's a two-point game, 30-28 Ole Miss. Polonese brings it down, hits Henry trailing. He fakes a three, drives in the lane, jump stops, throws up the shot. It won't go, and it's going to be a charge on uh, Terrence Henry. And that will be his second and the team fourth on Ole Miss. So Arkansas will have the ball when we come back. 3.49 to go in the first half. Ole Miss 30, Arkansas on 28. We owe you a local. We'll take that as you're listening to Ole Miss basketball. Rebel fans, Ole Miss baseball team begins the defense of their SEC crowd on February the 19th. Season tickets are available. Come be a part of one of the best baseball atmospheres in the country. To order tickets, go online to OleMissSports.com.
David Callum, Keith Carter with you again here at Tansmith Coliseum in Oxford. Ole Miss leads Arkansas 30-28 to with 3.49 to go here in the uh, first half of action. Hey, the Ole Miss baseball team is ranked in the third poll that's been released for 2010 in the preseason USA Today ESPN coaches poll. The Rebels are 17th in the nation. Ole Miss is also ranked among the top 25 nationally, both by Collegiate Baseball and Baseball America. Rebels open the 2010 season February the 19th, hosting a three-game series against the Warhawks of Louisiana Monroe at OU Stadium in Swayze Field. We encourage you to be sure to get your tickets and get ready for some Ole Miss baseball. Keith Carter had a chance to listen in on AK. Well, as good as they were defending early in the game, he's really down on them right now, not containing the basketball, obviously, forcing getting into the lane and doing what he did all in that second half against Mississippi State. So uh, he said, hey, guys, who can guard him? And Zach Graham stepped up. I think they may try him on him, put a kneel on him a little bit. But you've got to keep him out of the lane, and they know that's where it's got to start. Well, this was up 8 28 or 26-18, but Arkansas has had a 10-4 run over the last two and a half minutes. Razorbacks with the basketball. Clark feeds it to Washington down low on Cranston. Spins, turns, bank shot, no foul on Cranston. Made a great move, and Cranston has to foul him. First one on DeAndre, fifth one on Ole Miss. Yeah, good move there by Washington. You know, he's a guy, David, at 6'10". A lot of pro scouts really like his game. He gets the ball down that deep. He's tough to handle. He'd been going to that right-handed hook a couple of times early in this game. That time he faked over that left shoulder and then went back to the baseline, and, and Cranston had to foul. Preseason first team all SEC is Washington. He's at the line and makes the first five points in the game now for Mike Washington. It's 30 to 29. Arkansas is back within one. Washington a 66% shooter. Rodney Clark will check out as Nobles comes in for the Razorbacks. This would tie the game if Michael Washington can make this one. It's on its way. Hits centers and goes. Gets a friendly kiss off the glass. And we're tied at 30 all. So Arkansas has erased the Ole Miss eight-point lead. And we're even for the second time in the game, 7-7 and now 30-30. Polonese dribbling out front for Ole Miss, gives to Warren right wing, back to Polonese, left side to Graham. Graham looking for Warren in the corner, can't get his, as he cleared all the way through the far corner. Now Polonese waits for Warren to come to the near side to get him the ball, back to Polonese, has a three, won't shoot it. Now dribbles in, takes it down the lane, spins, hangs, and throws it above Fortson. Missed it, gets his own rebound, tries to bank it up and in and travels. He caught the ball, jumped up, came down, and then went up again, and that's going to be an up and down and a turnover on Ole Miss. Clark returns to the game for Nobles for Arkansas. Well, the play that the Rebels were running right there, they were running Chris off some of those baseline screens, and the problem was, David, as he came off, Anil Polonese was the guy making that pass. Well, his man was really helping as Chris curled. If you have a shooter there at the top, say Tariko or Zach Graham, they can't help as much. Maybe they run that play again, get a shooter there, and he'll have an open shot. Rodney Clark has the ball on the left wing, gives it out front to Powell. Powell's going to shoot a three over Holloway off the right iron, and Cranston gets the rebound for Ole Miss. 2.50 to go in the half. We're even at 30 all. Ole Miss with the basketball. Warren pulls, fires a three himself. Yep, he got it. He just brought it down, scanned the floor, and drilled it. 33-30, Ole Miss. Yeah, that's the exact shot that got him going at, uh, at, at LSU, David. Come dribbling down 24 feet, pulls up, shoots the J. Rodney Clark drives in the lane, hangs for a runner from 10. Short won't go. One-handed rebound by Murphy. Holloway goes up and rips it down with the left hand. Now to Warren, Rebels in the front court. Warren drives, gives to the baseline to Polonese, shoots a 15-footer, good, and Neil Polonese assists for Warren. Rebels up five, 35-30. Fortson takes it all the way coast to coast, stops in the lane, feeds it out to Clark in the right wing. Clark drives on Polonese, hanger, won't go as he missed another runner, rebounded by Graham. That time Cranston altered his shot. Now to Warren. Rebels with the basketball on the offensive end. Off the screen, Warren dribbles, feeds down low. Polonese driving out to Holloway. Holloway to Warren. He's got an open long three off the right iron. Rebound, Rodney Clark gets it in the corner. 35-30, five-point lead for Ole Miss. AK is not happy with something. He's really yelling at his team. The Rebels are wearing the coaches' suits and sneakers. We're not even wearing the suits. We're just real casual. White long sleeve shirts, navy blue dockers, and Tennis shoes, they look good for the American Cancer Society. Washington drives for a layup. He got it, and he is fouled. Eight points for Washington. And the foul is going to be on 52, DeAndre Cranston. That is his second and the sixth on Ole Miss. Well, Powell did a good job. He catches the ball down low, makes a spin move, and, and then Washington does a nice cut right to the rim and gets the pass to him, and he, he, he finished nicely. I mean, these, these two guys are very good down low. They work well together, and, and that's a great pass. Cranston will check out, and coming in is D'Angelo Riley. Riley, the 6'9 junior from Memphis, number 44, averaging two points, one rebound. Keith kind of alluded to the fact with no Reggie Buckner, 
who's got the ankle sprain, not available tonight, that we might see D'Angelo Riley, and here he is. Well, and he's a guy, David, he, he's got some talent. He's got some physical ability. He's been a little bit slow in, in learning the plays and, and, and getting uh, adjusted to this level of play, but you're going to need some solid minutes from him in this game. Washington's free throw too hard, rebounded by Holloway. So the Rebels with the basketball and a three-point lead, 35-32. Keith D'Angelo has not played since January the 5th against Central Florida. It's been a while. Warren guarded by Nobles, gets some separation from him. Nobles tight on him, the freshman. Warren backs him up again, now gives it away to Polonese, back to Chris Warren. 15 on the shot clock, a buck 10 to go in a half, 35-32 Ole Miss. Warren driving, hanging, bank shot, good. Chris Warren comes in from the left side and gets the bucket. Well, and Noble's doing a great job of defending there and making Chris work, but Chris just calm and collected as he always is, finally finds a, an angle to the basket, threw it up off the glass and in. 11 points for Chris Warren. He's Led the Rebels in scoring six straight games. Second, the SEC with 3.1 threes per game. He has a total of 62 coming into tonight. Give him 63 with one tonight. Arkansas spins it left side to Fortson. He forces up a shot. It won't go. Foul on Holloway. Well, we kind of lost him in the corner. Murphy had to flash out there to try to help. Fortson got off his feet for the shot and the foul on Murphy Holloway. Well, and, and you know, obviously it's easy for us to see over here, but Fortson was wide open. He's behind Murphy a little bit, and I'm, I was pointing at him, David, because you knew the ball was eventually going to get there, and then you've got to give Fortson some credit. A little pump fake uh, with the head there, got Murphy off the ground and, and drew the foul for three shots. First foul on Holloway, seven on the Rebels, and the free throw is good for Fortson. I think he's getting three, right? I think he was shooting a three, and he makes the first. Eight points for Fortson in the game, 79% free throw shooter. Fortson missed the first 14 games due to suspension, has come back roaring. Career high, 35 against State, 33 in the second half in their last outing. Fortson only gets two, so he was shooting a two from that corner. He makes both, though, and it's 37-34. Ole Miss by three, 35 seconds, 30 on the shot clock as Chris Warren gets it across the center line and a timeout call by Andy Kennedy. He wants a 30 to set up a play here, and uh, we will keep it here as well. You know, one of the things as we talk about Courtney Fortson, though, Keith, that he has done in those six games, he has 30 turnovers, which is about five a game. So you can force him into giving up the ball a little bit. Yeah, well, it, when you play at that pace, David, it's hard not to turn them. I mean, he's so quick. He goes full speed all the time. And he's a guy that, you know, at 5'10 or so, he gets in amongst those trees. And a lot of times he'll jump up in the air. And a lot of times he does some really positive things. But sometimes he, he does some things that gets himself in trouble, too. But uh, they're doing a, a better job lately. Once that Since that last media time, they've done a little bit better of containing his dribble. Uh, and Clark really hasn't been a factor in the game at all. So, uh, so far, so good. Going to have to do a little bit better on the defensive end, but hopefully you get a, a positive uh, possession right here to end the half. 31 seconds to go in the first half. 27 on the shot clock. Ole Miss leads 37-34, and Andy Kennedy has set up a play here. Tariqa White, Zach Graham, Murphy Holloway, Neil Polonese, and Chris Warren out there for the Rebels. For Arkansas, you have Welsh, Britt, Johnson, Nobles, Britt and... Who's the other one there? Bryant. Bryant's on the floor for Arkansas. And it comes to Warren. Warren eases across the line. Nobles picks him up. 20 on the shot clock. Just dribbling out front near the center circle. Now Nobles backs off a little bit. And I think what they're going to do, I heard Coach Kennedy, they're going to run up, and, and Arkansas goes to a 2-3 zone, so they may have to switch the play. Nine seconds, eight seconds. Right side to Tariko White. Five seconds. Pulls, shoots a shot short. Rebound is saved by Polonese for the layup. He got it with one second on the shot clock. Boy, garbage bucket for Polonese. Arkansas has time with one second. A shot from about 25 out front. No good by Nobles. And we go in at the half, 39-34. Ole Miss up five. How about EP saving the day on that? Talk to him and his lovely wife, Carolyn. And uh, Coach Evans getting up a lot trying to help out. He needs to sit down and be quiet over there. Yeah. We don't want him to help those Razorbacks beat us now. Well, it looks so strange, again, <laughs> to does. see him over there in, in that role. But, uh, yeah, we need him to just, you know, not tell too many suggestions here in this second half. I know you had a great time playing for him. Holloway out front. Drives down the left side of the lane. Takes it in for the layup. No, missed it. Shot it short. Rebound by Washington. Now up to Fortson. Arkansas with the ball. Down five. So Arkansas stops the Rebels on their first possession. Feed low to Powell. Powell spins, dumps it back out to Rodney Clark. He bombs a three over uh, Polonese. No good. And there's a 14th rebound for Holloway as he pulls it down for Ole Miss. Now to Warren. Warren runs into a double team, and Clark ends up stealing the basketball. Works it down the floor against Tariko White for the layup. Short, no good. And then pinned against the rim and the glass. Possession arrow belongs to Arkansas. And that happens when it sticks there uh, right along the flange against the uh, rim and the backboard. 
you go to the possession arrow and it belongs to the Razorbacks. But give credit right there. You, you hustle back, you contest the easy layup, and at least you make them work in a five-on-five -five situation. Into Fortson. He's got an open three right wing. The lefty fires it. No, shot it long. Off the back iron, rebound by Tariko White. Boy, they've had some good looks that haven't gone. Warren in the front court, hands it to Polonese. Polonese drives to the elbow, gives it in the left corner to Holloway. Back into Polonese, who spins, has it knocked out of his hands, now controls it. Right corner to Cranston, out to Warren in the wing. 20 on the shot clock. Chris is going to back it up toward the center line and reset this thing. Man-to-man -man for Arkansas. Warren drives on Clark, takes it in, hangs for the bank. No, rebound. Razorbacks have it. It's Washington that has it. Well, neither team can score so far. Up the floor to Britt. Britt with a bounce pass low to Powell. He's working on Holloway. Loses the ball to Washington the lane as he tries to drive in for the layup. Cranston just grabs him around the neck and draws the foul. That is the third on DeAndre Cranston and the first on Ole Miss. But, hey, you're out of position. I like that foul, David. If you're going to foul, make sure they don't have a chance to get it up off the glass and, and get an and one. I think in the Auburn game there were a couple of, of, of situations where, you know, you don't foul hard enough, they're able to get an and one situation right there. A hard playoff type foul, and, and you make Washington go to the line. Washington was two for three in the first half from the free throw line. This one's good. He has nine total points and is three for four from the line. Terrence Henry will check in for the Rebels, and DeAndre Cranston will check out. Cranston with those three fouls. Second free throw coming up for Michael Washington. Now, remember, Reginald Buckner not available for the Rebels tonight. Second one for Washington is good. He got them both. Ten points for him. Arkansas cuts it to three. 39-36 Ole Miss. Well, and you need something positive, David. The offensive end hasn't been good so far. You want to get some execute and, and do what you need to do. Rico White drives toward the baseline. Powell has him. Now he brings it up to the elbow with the dribble. Now hands it over to Warren. Now to Polonese. Polonese trying to drive. Pulls up right elbow. Shot an air ball, but he was hit on the arm. It went below the rim and out of bounds, but he was fouled by Fortson on the elbow. Fortson with his second, and the first one on Arkansas in the second half. Well, and that's just, you know, Fortson there with the foul. And, and, you know, if you're an Arkansas coach or player, it's a bad foul. And he'll, you force him into the shot. You want him to shoot. Uh, and, he, and he goes ahead, and fortunately for the Rebels, uh, hits him on the elbow, two shots. First one on its way, good. He missed two free throws in the first half. Nine points in the game now for Neil Polonese. Polonese, 14 points in each of the last two games, and he's headed that way again, sitting on nine early in the second half. 40-36, to 36, Ole Miss by four. This one's good. He hit them both, Ole Miss by five. So both teams have exchanged two free throws here in the early goings of the second half. Fortson will work it up. Courtney brings it to the front court between the circles, trying to drive. Gets to the free throw line. Now to Powell for the layup. No, but he is fouled by Terrence Henry. I think we were in a zone there, Keith. I'm not positive, but Henry with a foul. That will be his third personal and the second on the Rebels. Well, they run the high pick and roll there, and, and Terrence Henry steps out. His man Powell is setting the screen. You've got to pay so much attention to Fortson. He's stepping out to help on that, David. As Powell rolls to the basket, he's a, he's a step late getting there but again makes the foul and, and, and forces Powell to go to the line. Powell at the free throw line was one for two in the first half. 41-36, Ole Miss by five. This free throw is good. Eight points now for Marshawn Powell for the Razorbacks, and it's 41-37, Rebels. Andy Kennedy's got to make a decision about Terrence Henry. He's playing with three fouls. So Zach Graham is about to check in for him. Powell for the second free throw coming up. On its way, this one good. He got them both. Nine points for Marshawn Powell, 41-38. Graham will come in for Henry. All free throws so far, four for the Razorbacks, two for the Rebels. And David, let me say this. If you remember last year, Courtney Fortson was a kid that you, you watch his body language a lot, and he, he would come off, to, off the, to the sidelines and never listen to the coach. It seems like he's bought into this team a little bit, and you can tell by the way this team's playing when he's running the show, uh, a totally different player than last year. Polonese drives, is cut off the left elbow, turns, fades, and shoots over Rodney Clark and hit the 15-footer. One of the best shots of the year for Neil Polonese. 43-38, Ole Miss by five again. 14-game suspension might get your attention too, Keith, and Fortson sure does look a lot more mature. What a great freshman he was and having a very good sophomore year now that he's back out there playing. Powell out front, right side to Clark. Right corner to Britt. He dumps it back to Powell, driving for a layup in a basket. Powell has the bucket. 11 points for him, 43-40. Ole Miss by three. Warren feeds left corner to Zach Graham. Back to Warren in the wing. Arkansas on a man-to-man. -man. Warren drives past uh, Fortson, feeds it into the corner. It ends up in Tariko's hand. It look, look, went off a shoulder of one of the Rebels, and Tariko caught it in the corner. Tariko on the right wing now. 
Cross court pass left wing to Warren. Now down in the corner to Graham. In it goes to Holloway. Murphy turns, fade away 10 footer. Good. Murphy Holloway with a basket. 13 points, 14 rebounds for number 31. 45 40, Rebels by five again. Botany Clark off a handoff from Fortson. Now gives it up to Britt. Britt cuts across the free throw line, dribbles to the right wing, feeds it low to Powell for an easy layup. He gets an easy two. They found Marshawn Powell low. That's working for the Hogs. 11 points for him, 45 42, Ole Miss by three. Warren in the left wing with Fortson on him. Hands the ball to Zach Graham. Graham back to Warren. Ooh, had a three, turned it down. Drives toward the baseline. Far corner, bad pass intercepted by Rodney Clark as Warren was trying to get it to Polynese. Now down the floor come the Razorbacks. A three, left corner on its way. Good there by Marcus Britt. His first basket of the game, and we're tied at 45 all. So Arkansas has erased Ole Miss's five-point lead. Timeout by Andy Kennedy. It'll be a full timeout. 45-45, 16-28 to go. Here in the game, back in a minute on the Ole Miss Basketball Network. Welcome back to Tad Smith Coliseum here in Oxford with 16.28 to go in the basketball game. We're even. Ole Miss 45, Arkansas 45. This game was to be played yesterday at 3 o'clock, but bad weather in Fayetteville didn't allow the Razorbacks to travel on Friday, so they traveled yesterday to get into Oxford, and we're playing this one tonight. Time now for the get in the game by going inside the huddle with the Ole Miss Rebels, brought to you by our friends at TupeloSports.net. We encourage you to go online and check out TupeloSports.net. Keith Carter gets a chance to listen in on AK throughout the game and get his thoughts, and he actually called that timeout right before the media timeout, as it's even now, Keith. It is, and, and he said, guys, we've got to defend. And, and, you know, we were talking early in this game. I felt like our guys were really defending extremely well. Well, since about the 10-minute mark or so, they've been a little bit lax on their defense. He said, it's got to start there. They, he drew up a play here for Anil to get the ball at the top of the key and really go to work on Rodney Clark. But uh, defensively is where they've got to get it going. That's your get-in-the-game moment inside the Ole Miss huddle, brought to you by TupeloSports.net. Tupelo, where athletes go to get in the game. Tarika White brings it down and just fires a shot right wing. No, missed a 17-footer. And rebound by watching us. So Andy Kennedy said, that's exactly what I drew up. Sarcastically, that's not what he wanted. Powell down low. Razorbacks can take a lead, and he puts it up and in. Six feet right in front. The Rebels having trouble slowing Marshawn Powell. 15 for him. So he's hit his average, and Arkansas up by two. 47-45. Ole Miss with the basketball. Polonese drives the left side of the lane. He's being held by Clark and then grabbed by Fortson. And they're going to put it on Rodney Clark. That will be his second and the second one on the Razorbacks. We have a timeout on the floor. 15.50 to go in the game. Arkansas 47. Ole We'll take a local break as you're listening to Ole Miss basketball. Ole Miss basketball trivia sponsored by Proud Larry's on the Oxford Square. Joe Harvell or C. Don Kessinger? 
Gerald Glass was a David Kellum and Keith Carter here. They use Keith as a trivia question. You're always the wrong answer. That's like three That's times. That's not a good thing, year. is it? What is the deal? <laughs> he scored the second most points behind John Stroud. Was that it? Or what was the question? I don't know. Anyway, it was Joe Harvell. The Arkansas guys had you, Don Kessinger, Joe Harvell. You know, you think about the players from Arkansas. You'll be the answer eventually. I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> but there have been a ton of guys really come from Arkansas to play at Ole Miss in basketball. Well, you know, you talk about the fact that if you're from East Arkansas, especially, David. You know, it's an, you can get to Ole Miss a lot faster than you can get to Fayetteville. So, you know, there's a lot of connections there, a lot of Ole Miss connections. And, uh, you know, it's been really – Arkansas has been good to, to Ole Miss. 15-50 to go in the game, 47-45. Arkansas leads by two. Ashley Furniture brings you our SEC scoreboard update. The only other score earlier today, Tennessee beat Florida 61-60 in Knoxville. That's Ashley Furniture's home stores. You're going to love this place, SEC scoreboard update. Ole Miss will inbound, trying to tie or take the lead with a three. Left corner, Gaskins had the three, turned it down. Feeds into Polonese, back out to Graham. He's got an open three on its way. Good! Zach Graham gets his first three of the game, and the Rebels up 48-47. Well, and good ball movement there. Trevor Gaskins turned down two wide open threes, and Neal turned down a layup to get a, a three there by Zach and, and get him going a little bit. Fortson. Drove it in, fed it to Powell, and Powell got it back out to Fortson. You're kind of glad Powell's hurt us down low. Fortson has it between the circles for the Razorbacks. Dribbles between the legs. 13 on the shot clock. Feeds it down to Powell, right baseline. Graham has got Powell. Now they get it back out to Fortson at the center circle. Five on the shot clock. And he's going to shoot one over Murphy Holloway. Rims in and out, no good. Tariqo White had it off his hands. Loose ball. Polonese picks it up for Ole Miss. He's got the fast break. Four on three. We'll back it out there as the Razorbacks drop the other two back into the defense. And Polonese will give to Gaskins. Chris Warren. Not on the floor right now, getting a breather. Tarico drives, dumps it left corner to Graham, fakes the three, penetrates back to Tarico. Three from the left wing. No, off the left iron. Tipped by Holloway. No. Holloway gets it again, puts it up over the front rim. No. Rebound fought for. Gaskins has it. He's trying to come out of traffic. Loops a pass to Holloway, left wing. Saves it from going out of bounds to Tarico White. And we have a whistle and a foul on the Razorback. Well, and that's the effort right there that Coach Kennedy and his staff want. Everybody's up on the bench right now telling them great hustle. That's the hustle and energy that wins you basketball games right there, David. Fortson with a foul. That's his third. Three on the Razorbacks this half. Two on to Fortson. Welsh will check in for Britt. Bryant will come in for the Razorbacks. He'll come in for Powell. Here comes Terrence Henry in for Ole Miss, playing with three fouls. He's in for Murphy Holloway. Well, and you talk about that hustle, David, and, and the energy. That's something that you can bring every night. Are you hitting your shots every night? Not at all. But you can bring that defense. You can bring that energy. You can bring that hustle. Great play right there by four or five Rebels. Ball inbounded to Graham between the circles. He gives it to Rico White. Now to Gaskins' right wing. Cross-court pass to Polonese to the left wing. Ole Miss up 48-47 by one. Gaskins has it knocked out of his hands momentarily by Nobles, who's checked in as well. Now to Polonese. Polonese pulls for a 17-foot jumper short. Hits a rim, falls in the hands of Washington. Couldn't get it to the rim or to the uh, cylinder. Just barely hit the rim on that one. Arkansas with the basketball. Down by one. Nobles, who is from Jackson, Mississippi. Freshman with the basketball out front. Works toward the left wing. Gives it to Welsh. Welsh drives to the baseline. Hangs. And Graham blocks his shot as he goes up and down. So that's a pin and a possession arrow. That, well, are they calling it a pin or not? All right, I guess Graham just knocked it out of bounds. Warren will get back in for Ole Miss. Clark back in for Arkansas. 15 on the shot clock. That ball actually went out of bounds off of Zach Graham, so it will be inbounded by the Razorbacks. Looking, looking, looking. They get it in the far corner to Rodney Clark. He dribbles up to the top of the key, gives to Fortson. Man-to-man -man for Ole Miss. Fortson's guarded by Zach Graham. Shot clock down to 8-7. Fortson drives right elbow down the lane. He's bumped twice by Zach Graham. So a foul on Graham, and that's the first. Team third. Andy Kennedy said, we're moving back. He's initiating that, Doug. He didn't like that call. Ball inbound to Fortson. Arkansas gets a fresh 35. Fortson drives a lane, forces it up no, and a whistle and a foul. And who's that one on? That's on Zach Graham. It may have been – Zach doesn't like the call. It may have been the help side defense that might have been whistled for that one. Graham's got two quick fouls, five on the Rebels – or four on the Rebels, rather. Well, the issue there, you know, as Courtney Fortune drives in, he's a guy, David, you know, probably at about 170 pounds. Zach Graham's over, well over 200 pounds. You get that little bit of a bump, and, and Fortune goes flying, and, and that's what the referee sees. But overall, Zach's moving his feet, doing a pretty good job of defending Courtney Fortune. Fortune will have two shots. He hit two in the first half. Fortune has nine points, has not scored in the second half, though. Free throw on its way too hard. He missed it. 
Hit the back iron, kicked out of there. Farmer comes in for Clark for the Razorbacks. Ole Miss 48, Arkansas 47 with 13.46 to go in the game. Second free throw for Fortson. And this one is good. Ten points now for Courtney Fortson. Ole Miss with the ball. We're tied 48 all. Chris Warren is back in the game and dribbling it up for Ole Miss. Fortson picks him up as he crosses the center line. Runs down the right side. Back to Henry. Left side, Gaskins had the three, turned it down. Now will fire a 17-footer. Rims in and out, no good. Washington has the rebound for the Razorbacks. Arkansas with the ball with a score tied, 48-48. Courtney Fortson working on Warren. Drives him toward the right elbow. Jump stops as he gets in there. Dribbled again. Washington tries to save it back in. Henry steals it away to White, to Gaskins. Back to Tariko White for the layup. Basket, and he's fouled. Well, and that's what you love to see right there. Tariko gets the ball, pitches it up to Trevor, and then Trevor gets it back to the guy who we love to have it in transition, a guy that can finish in Tariko White. Looked like he wanted to dunk that basketball, but did a great job of getting it up off the glass. Foul on Stefan Welsh, his first four on the Razorbacks. Tariko White now with two baskets, five points in a game. Tariko had 19 at Auburn with 16 in the second half, so you hope that he'll have another big uh, second half. White had 29 at Fayetteville last year with – 25 coming in the second half, so we're hoping for a big second. I'm talking him into a big second half. There you go. Well, and, it, and it's so nice to see when our guys do things fundamental, the, the fundamental way right there. You know, there's no dribbling. They, the fast break is all with the pass, and, and the ball never touches the ground, and, and you end up with two easy points. And, and when they do things fundamentally sound the right way, David, they're really, really tough to beat. Torico makes that free throw. Ole Miss up 51-48 by three, 13-09. Long pass down the floor to Farmer, who's in the game. He drives for a layup and charges. Farmer with the charge, and setting there to take the charge was Henry. Now, he's playing with three fouls. Gutsy move by Terrence Henry. Farmer with his third personal, five on the Razorbacks. Well, and that's the second charge that, that Terrence has taken in the last two games. Did a good job that last game of, of chesting up and taking a charge. And, and right there, coaches love when guys will sacrifice their body uh, and take that charge. Backcourt pressure by Arkansas. The pass to Henry, and he brings it up to the left wing with a dribble. Drives down, hangs for a 10-foot jumper. Good! Terrence Henry just pulled back and fired over Washington and scored. Rebels by five, 53-48. Yeah, good job there by Terrence. Nobody guarding him. He decides to take it all the way to the rim. 30-second timeout for the Razorbacks. 12.52 to go in the game. Ole Miss 53, Arkansas 48, five-point lead for the Rebels. That gets Ole Miss back to the halftime lead of five. Eli Manning is being shown on the Dactronics board. Forget him. Let's see Abby. <laughs> there they are, both on the Dactronics board, Eli and Abby Manning. Langston's in the picture, too. We don't need that. What's Langston doing? Good to have Eli in the house. I'm sure he'll be headed to Miami cheering for his brother Peyton against those Saints. Boy, I tell you what, now Archie's made no bones about it. He's got to be for, for his son, blood thicker than water. But I know a lot of us Saints fans, Woo, the Saints are in the Super Bowl. Who that? Yeah, it's a big big time, a big game, and, and it, it does cause a lot of problems for people who love Peyton and, and the Manning family, but are obviously New Orleans fans, so it should be a fun game. Hey, don't forget that Papa John's is a proud sponsor of Ole Miss basketball, the official pizza of the Ole Miss radio team, Papa John's Better Ingredients, Better Pizza. Welsh will inbound it to Fortson. The tad pad's gotten a little loud here. We've had a good crowd show up. It was kind of a late arriving crowd, but a nice crowd here. Fortson picks up the dribble in the right wing, but apparently we got a holding foul on Gaskins. All right, so Trevor Gaskins with his first, five on the Rebels. Well, and Trevor's good for about one of those a game, David, trying to be a pesk on, on Rodney Clark and, and getting really up into him. Razorbacks to inbound it. They get it into Rodney Clark in the right wing. He runs off a screen to the top of the circle. We get a switch to keep him covered, and Gaskins fights back to get him. There's a steal by Graham momentarily, but then out of bounds is Powell. Graham reached around, got a hand on it, Keith. Powell then grabbed it, but he went out of bounds with the ball. Well, Powell's really been doing a number on us the last few possessions. He's really a four player, David, and, and, uh, and the Rebels going with a small lineup. They've had either Zach Graham, Tariko White, and he's taking them down in the post right there. Zach Graham pushed him out of position, was going to make him catch a little deeper, and did a good job of knocking the ball away. Doug Sermones and John Pelfrey having some words with each other. No technical thrown as Ole Miss inbounds it. Warren down the lane for the layup. He gets a layup, but he's fouled on the drive by Fortson, and that is his 
fourth. I show his fourth personal foul. Fourth on Fortson, six on the Razorbacks. That's a good one to have four with 12.29 to play. Fortson will have to leave the game, and Nobles will come in. Well, and we talk about Fortson so much, I think we forget about our guy. He can get in the lane as well and did a good job right there against Fortson, taking it in there and drawing the foul. Trevor Gaston's a tough pass into Tariqa White and threw it away. He tried to force a bounce pass in it, banged against his shins and went out of bounds, and it will belong to the Razorbacks. Ugh. Andy Kennedy wants to throw something over there. He was reaching for that bottle of water and thought better about it. Arkansas on the front court, left side to Clark. He hands it over to Welsh, who weaves to the top of the arc. Now to Clark off the screen, fires a three, got it. You got to watch him. Rodney Clark now has eight points. Clark leads the SEC in the NCAA with 3.8 threes per game. Got a school record 51 points against Alcorn State. He's been kind of quiet, but made that one. 53-51 Ole Miss. Graham drives baseline, reverse layup, basket. What a move by Zach Graham as he takes it to the rack. Ole Miss up four, 55-51. Yeah, good individual move there by Zach. They, you know, Zach's been knocking those threes down. You've got to respect that. So he takes them to the baseline, finishes with the up and under layup. Holloway and Polonese are about to check in for Ole Miss. Arkansas with the ball right now. Pass down to Washington. Washington backs in on Henry, forces up a shot, centers and goes and drew the foul. And that'll be on uh, Terrence Henry. Terrence Henry with his fourth personal, six now on the Rebels. Washington with the basket and will go to the free throw line here in just a moment. 11.37 to go, it's Ole Miss 55, Arkansas 53. We're back in a minute on the Ole Miss Basketball Network. Along with Keith Carter, David Kellum here with you at Tan Smith Coliseum with 11.37 to go in the game. Ole Miss leads Arkansas by 255 to 53. In-game stats are brought to you by Renaissance Bank, the people you trust since 1904, renaissancebank.com, member FDIC. The Razorbacks shooting 19 of 39, 49%, 5 of 17 from three-point range, 29%, 10 of 13 from the free throw line at 77%. Ole Miss 22 of 53. 42% overall, 3 of 12 beyond the arc at 25%, 8 of 11 from the line at 73%. 32 rebounds for Ole Miss, 21 for Arkansas, 15 boards for Murphy Holloway. He's got 13 points and 15 rebounds. Keith again had a chance to listen in on AK. Well, he was upset with a couple of things they're doing fundamentally, especially on defense. You know, you, you scout on these guys previously. You go over everything. You talk about what you want to do. Well, right now, they're, they're, not, they're not getting in front of Michael Washington, fronting him and keeping him from getting the basketball. They're playing behind, and he's so big down there, David, he's able to get the ball right at the rim. They said, hey, we've got to do what we talked about in the scouting report. They're going to draw a play up here for Zach Graham on the offensive end and try to get him open. Washington's free throw is good. He is five for six from the line. 55-54, Ole Miss by one as the ball comes into Warren. Nine turnovers for Arkansas, seven for Ole Miss. Six on Fortson, but he's had only one in the second half. Of course, Fortson's having to sit right now with four fouls. Bad pass deflected, actually, by Britt, stolen by Nobles. Here come the Razorbacks. Washington for the layup, shot it too hard. Foul on Ole Miss. And that's going to be on DeAndre Cranston, who just checked in. That is his fourth. Four on Cranston, seven on the Rebels. We got some guys, both teams, with foul trouble. Henry Cranston for Ole Miss. For Arkansas, Fortson. Washington will go to the line. But that was set up on a, a deflected pass from the left wing. Yeah, bad effort there by Zach Graham. He catches the ball. He's trying to dump it down to Murphy, and, and, and the ball's tipped. You've got to be more decisive with your passing. Washington's free throw is short, and he misses that one. Tariko White will come in for DeAndre Cranston. If Washington makes this one, we've got a tie game. 55-54 Ole Miss, 11-21 to play. Washington's second free throw, good, and we are tied. 
55 all, fifth time the game has been tied. Chris Warren looks to the bench. It's a signal from Andy Kennedy. Arkansas on a man to man as Warren comes across the center line. Nobles picks him up. Warren has it knocked out of his hands by Nobles. Nobles picks up the loose ball, has it in the front court, drives the lane. His shot is off the rim, too hard, rebounded by Polonese. Oh, made a great play. The freshman had a great play to steal it away, but then didn't finish, and the Rebels get it back. Polonese driving the lane, hangs for a bank. It will go, and he's fouled. How did that ball go in? He just slung it up there with the right hand, and it kissed the glass and was able to spin in there good. And the foul on 14, Welsh, his second, team seventh. Well, this team, they've got so many weapons right there. Chris Warren is, is, is going to initiate the offense. He gets the ball stolen. Anil Polonese comes up. He initiates the offense, takes it all the way to the rim, and, and again, with an uncanny way of getting it up off the glass and getting it to sneak through the rim, uh, is able to get the end one opportunity. Polonese with 14 points. Third straight game, he's gotten to 14. He can go to 15 if he makes this free throw. He's two for four in the game, and it's on its way good. Ole Miss by two, 58, or by three, rather, 58-55 with 10.54 to go. Backcourt pressure by Ole Miss. It's inbounded. Welsh to Powell. They break it with no trouble. Right wing Clark, wide open three, bombs it, short on the rim, and rebound Polonese. Boy, you go. Whew. Rotney Clark had an uncontested look and missed it. And from this angle, I thought it was down. Rebels with a basketball. Warren in the left wing. Dribbles out between the circles, feeds the Polonese in the left wing. Polonese dribbling on Rotney Clark, working him toward the basket, gets in the lane, spins, hangs, bank shot, rolls off, no good. Rebounded by Powell of Arkansas. Here come the Razorbacks. Welsh to the left wing. Picks up his dribble, loops it down to Washington. Reverse layup, basket for Washington. It's just too easy, David. It is lob it over the top, and, and he knocks it in for the easy layup. 16 points for Mike Washington. 58-57. Warren goes for a high bank off the glass. No. Tipped out of there, and Clark gets the rebound. Arkansas with the basketball down one. Ten minutes to play in the contest. Well, and it's got to start here, David. The, the Rebels have got to get that intensity they had early in this game on the defensive end. Uh, you've got to find Clark. There he goes running the baseline. Left corner open for three. Fires over White and gets it from the left corner. Rodney Clark with his third three. 11 points for him, 60-58. Arkansas leads by two. That matches their biggest lead second half. 9.44 to play in the game. Doug Sermones is visiting with Andy Kennedy. 60-58, Arkansas by two with 9.44 to go. A 30-second timeout by Ole Miss. And we will uh, keep it here. Arkansas will check Johnson back into the game. Well, we got a war here at the Tad Pad. No doubt. And, and, and the thing is, David, you don't, I mean, if Arkansas wins the basketball game, that's one thing. But if they beat you by doing exactly what they love to do, and that's getting Rodney Clark running baselines, coming off screens, uh, that's when you get frustrated as a coach and as a player. You've got to know where that guy is at all times. I mean, I would much rather have a, a, a Julius Nobles or a Stephen Wells, one of those guys wide open for a three or, or even a layup, David. You cannot let Rodney Clark get hot and get going because he can single-handedly carry this team. Uh, and then you throw Fortune in the mix as well. So um, you've got to know where that guy is at all times. I called it. We've seen him running the baseline. Yeah, you saw He's going to be wide open. And I know I'm sitting over here, but you have to know as a player where that guy is at all times. Alex White. Warren, Holloway, Graham, and Polonese in the game for Ole Miss. Powell, Clark, Johnson, Nobles, and Welsh for Arkansas. Tariko White dribbles it to the front court. Works it toward the right elbow, back to Holloway. Holloway trying to drive, hangs, throws up a shot that hits the front rim and goes. Boy, he was against the numbers, but got the bucket. 15 for Murphy Holloway. We're tied at 60 to 60. Well, it just seems like Arkansas is getting easier shots right now, David. They're getting shots to the rim, shots in transition, open shots for Clark. Our guys are work, having to work extremely hard. 2-3 zone for the Rebels. Pass tries to go into Johnson, deflected by Holloway, but Johnson saves it. Back into Welsh. He drives, jumps, stop, walks all over the place, throws a layup in. The foul is going to be on Murphy Holloway, his second, team eight. They're going to count the bucket and not call a travel there. Oh, my goodness. Welsh with the basket. He's got five points, 62-60 Arkansas, on a free throw coming up for Welsh. Well, Man. and if they don't call the travel there, David, it was it was a foul. He made a good move after that move that, that looked like he traveled with the basketball. But our guys have got to do a better job of, of moving their feet, not allowing Welsh to get into that scoring position. Correction, follows on number 31, Murphy Stephen Welsh is at the free throw line. He's a 67% shooter. First trip to the line for him. Arkansas by two, 62-60. This would give the Razorbacks their biggest lead of the night if he can make this one a three-point advantage. On its way, good. He got it. Razorbacks up three at the 9.08 mark. 63-60, Hogs. Chris what? Warren dribbles it up. 
And David, it seems like it's almost Chris Warren time. He's been out of the action for a while. Torico drives, misses the shot, gets his own rebound, throws it up again, missed another one from four feet, rebounded by Johnson of Arkansas. Here come the Hogs, Clark in the right wing. Clark dribbling. Man-to-man -man for Ole Miss. 63-60 Hogs. Clark dribbles toward the left wing, picks up his dribble, feeds to Johnson. Johnson wants to go back door, can't do it, back to Clark. Left side to Nobles. Nobles down to Powell. Powell turns, gets the easy reverse layup. Missed it. Dunk follow. Missed by Johnson. Rebound to Rico White. Ole Miss gets the basketball. Boy, we got a break there. Warren gives to Polonese right wing. Polonese working on Clark. Takes him in the lane. Back out to Warren. Right corner three on its way. Good. Well, you know, he'd been quiet for so long, David. He's the guy you want to hit the big shots in crucial moments. And Polonese did a good job creating a, a good offensive possession there and getting to Chris Warren for the open three. Second three of the game for Warren. First bucket, second half for Chris. He's got 14 points. We're tied at 63. Eight minutes to go. Clark in the right wing for the Razorbacks. Cross-court pass to Welsh. He's going to bomb a three. His is short off the rim, and Tariko White has the rebound for Ole Miss. Outlet pass to Warren. Here come the Rebels. Warren hands it to Graham to White. Wide open three on its way. Good! Tariko White was left open. He drills a three. Six unanswered, and Ole Miss leads by three. 66-63. Timeout, Arkansas with 7.37 to play. Again, we'll keep it here. Well, and the great ball movement there. You come down, and Chris Warren kicks it to Anil Polonese, who immediately swings the ball. Excuse me, to Zach Graham, who immediately swings the ball to Tariko White for the wide open three. You know, that's a deal where if he dribbles it a couple of times, David, before he passes, Tariko's not open. But it was good court vision, court awareness. Get it over to Tariko, wide open. Those are the kind you shoot all the time in practice. Back-to-back -back threes out of Warren and White. How many times have we said that in those two guys' career? Well, and now it's a situation, obviously, offensively, you make those two threes, it gets you the three-point lead, but it started on the defensive end. Tariko White has picked up two great defensive rebounds on the last two possessions. You've got to play solid defense and then, and then get that defensive rebound so you can get out and do the thing that our team does so well, and that's play on the offensive end. Obviously, our guys can go on the offensive end, but you got to secure that ball first. 66-63 Ole Miss. John Pelfrey talking to his freshman Nobles. As we told you, uh, Julius is from uh, Jackson. Ball being inbounded by the Razorbacks. Powell gets it into Nobles in the backcourt. Gaskins in the game also for Ole Miss. Full court press for the Rebels. Nobles gets a pass to Powell in the middle to break the press. And now back to Nobles. He's working the point. Remember, Courtney Fortson's playing, uh, is on the bench with four fouls. 2 3 zone for the Rebs here. Nobles left side to Welsh. Now to Nobles. Nobles looking to go right, but Clark won't help him. Now Clark pops up to the wing and takes the pass. Now to Welsh. Shot clock down to eight seconds. Down to Powell, top of the arc. He wants to go low, can't do it. Drives down the lane, jumps, fakes, goes up, puts up a left-handed lay -in. No, Murphy Holloway has it for a moment, but ripped away and put in by Welsh. I don't think that's a basket. Did he hit the rim? The buzzer went off. They're going to count it for Powell. 17 for him, 66-65, one-point lead for Ole Miss. The fans thought the first shot missed the rim, and the second one was after the buzzer. They're still booing. Ole Miss with the ball on the offensive end. Gaskins feeds to Powell, Polonese rather, right elbow, back left wing, Warren, open three on its way. Nope, short. Hits, goes to the opposite side, rebounded by Washington. Razorbacks with the ball, down one. Well, it looks like the Rebels are going to stay in the 2-3 zone. You've got to know where Clark is at all times in this zone, and, and obviously like that last possession, you've got to clean up that, that rebound. Nobles out front. Behind the back dribble, feeds left side to Welsh. Welsh loops it to Powell at the free throw line. Down low to Washington for a layup. He gets an easy bucket. They're playing high low with two big guys. And he now has 18 points. Arkansas back on top, 67-66. Razorbacks on a 4-0 run. Yeah, nice pass there by Powell. He actually missed that pass on the last possession, David. He had that high low to Washington and, and didn't make the pass. That time he did. Gaskins in the left wing, dribbling on Rodney Clark. Now feeds to Warren. Warren's in the left wing to Gaskins, right side to Tariko White. 12 on the shot clock to Polonese in the far corner. Polonese to Holloway in the lane. Pull up, 15-foot jumper. Hits, won't go. Rebound Gaskins. Gaskins dribbles it out of there, gives to Warren. Now to Tariko, right side Polonese. Back to Tariko, left side Warren. The pass was deflected. Warren had to chase it down. 
Now to Gaskins. He's going to shoot a three. Left wing. No. In and out. Rebounded by Washington. Razorbacks with the ball. Up one with 5.33 to play. Well, and Tarico turned one down, David. You would have loved for him to shoot that shot. It was in rhythm. He tried to make one more pass. It got tipped away. Kind of threw the rhythm of the playoff a little bit, and Trevor had to shoot the three. 67-66. Arkansas leads by one with 5.20 to play. Let's see if they play a high-low with us again. Welsh backs it up to the center circle. Gaskins is guarding him in a man-to-man. -man. Dribbles to the left wing. Loops it down low block. With it there, Washington turns, spins, forces up a shot that won't go. And a foul on Ole Miss. It's going to be on Chris Warren. And Chris will have his first and nine now on Ole Miss. DeAndre Cranston is going to return to the game for the Rebels. He'll be playing with four fouls. 5.06 to go. Here in the game, we've got a timeout on the floor. Arkansas 67, Ole Miss 66. Back in a minute on the Ole Miss Basketball Network. Should be a network. Budweiser four. We had one coach's timeout. One, two, three. Okay. 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 That's right. So it should be local. All right. So you won't first net post game next. Okay. Five oh six to go here in Oxford. Arkansas 67, Ole Miss 66 is our score here. The Ashley Furniture Home Store brings you our SEC scoreboard update. And only one other game of the SEC earlier today. It was Tennessee winning over Florida at home as the Vols win in Knoxville by one, 61-60. This one is uh, shaping up to be that type of, of game as well. Also, our women's team, the Ole Miss Rebels, Losing to the Florida Gators 67-64 earlier this afternoon here at Tad Smith Coliseum. That's your SEC scoreboard update. Ashley Furniture Home Store, you're going to love this place. Well, Keith, don't like the score right now. Got to get it going, don't we? Well, and Andy was talking about, guys, you know, they're getting to the free throw line now. We're not getting there because we're settling for too many jump shots. The last shot that Murphy Holloway took from about 15 feet, he said, Murphy, take that ball and get to the rim. Put pressure on the rim, try to get to the free throw line. But he said, guys, we've got to get some stops. That's where it's going to start. Uh, they're they're going to draw up a play. They feel, they feel like Arkansas is going to come out in a 2-3 zone here after this, these free throws by Washington, so they drew up a play for that. But obviously, you've got to get something going on the defensive end. Washington at the free throw line and puts it up and it kicks around centers and goes. Seven for nine is Michael Washington from the free throw line. Washington has a double-double, 19 points, 10 rebounds. Second one, dead center, he got them both. And Arkansas has a three-point lead, matches their biggest lead of the game. 69-66, 5.04 to go. Backcourt pressure by the Hogs. Tariko White to Warren, back to Tariko. And he gets it across the center line. Also in the game, Cranston, Holloway, and Polonese for Ole Miss. Rico White looks at the zone. Yep, 2-3 zone. Chris Warren dribbles toward the right wing. Gives to Rico right corner. Bombs a three. In and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Nobles of Arkansas. Holloway ties him up. Possession error, Ole Miss. Well, Nobles, instead of getting out of there and getting it moving, he kind of stopped, and Murphy was able to tie him up. So the Rebels get the ball back. Yeah, Murphy, good job, good energy play there. Nobles brings the ball down and, and makes it available to Murphy, and we know Murphy's going to go after it if he sees it. They'll reset the shot clock, bounce pass right underneath the Cranston back to Polonese, who inbounded it. Polonese dribbles it out to the wing, takes it in the lane, feeds low to Holloway, reverse layup, that's good, nice pass. So easy when he does what he's supposed to, David, right there. He gets in the paint, makes a great offensive move, kicks it to the open man. If he does that, does that exact play every time and hits that open man, Wow, he's a tough player. 17 points, 15 rebounds for Holloway. On a give and go, Powell goes up for the dunk and is going to be fouled. He missed the dunk. It came out of there. No good. Foul is on Cranston, and that's going to be it for DeAndre Cranston with 4.18 to play. He fouls out of the game. And he'll leave with only two total points. 
418 to go. Arkansas 69, Ole Miss 68. They're really getting to the glass on us, and we're now one big man down. Powell will go to the free throw line. He is three for four on the night, has 17 total points. Marshawn Powell. Well, that's a play. They, they run that pick and roll, David, and as Powell cuts to the lane, there's got to be weak side help. Uh, you know, the, the player who's involved in the pick and roll, you've got to be concentrated on the guard, and as he goes out, you can't let him get that three. Th so there's got to be help from the weak side. That time nobody stepped over Cranston just a little bit late and had to make the foul. Powell will get two shots here. Spins the basketball, puts the first one up, and it's good. Four for five from the free throw line is Marshawn Powell, 70 to 68 the score. Arkansas by two. Razorbacks trying to go up by three here. This free throw, good. Put a lot of air under it. 71-68, Arkansas by three. That's the third time they've led by three in the second half. Backcourt pressure again by the Hogs, a 2-2-1 full court press. Warren has it off the pass from Tariqo White. Warren gets across the center line. Nobles has him out front. Dribbles toward the left wing, hands it to Polonese. Polonese back to Chris Warren. Back to Polonese out front. Shot clock at 15 seconds. Polonese driving back to Warren, left wing. Open three on its way. Good. Chris Warren laid out in the weeds in the left wing and didn't move, and we found him out there, and Arkansas lost him. That ties the game 71 off. Yeah, again, give credit to Anil. Found the open player. Chris Warren did the rest. Obviously need a stop here. The crowd's getting into the game. Bounce pass left wing. They try to feed low, and Murphy Holloway jumps up and steals it this time from Washington. Big play. Well, he got around in front. That's exactly what Andy's talking about. You know, he's so big. If you let him get it that low, David, he's going to do some damage, but Murphy stayed in front. Warren works off the screen, gets in the lane for a jumper from 10. No. Henry had it, couldn't get it. Rebounded by Nobles of Arkansas. 71 all. Razorbacks with the ball, 318 to play. We got a, a game here in Oxford. This one looks like it's going down to the wire. Razorbacks. Beat it left side. Clark open three bombs and got it. Rodney Clark with an open look. His fourth three has 14 points. Razorbacks back up by three, 74 71. Three minutes to play. Wow. What a shot there by Clark. Warren in the front court. Hands the ball to Murph, uh, Tariko White. Tariko now to Henry. He's going to try to shoot a three right wing. No, off the back iron. Rebound. Fought for and out of bounds off of Powell. It will belong to Ole Miss. He was fighting Holloway and knocked it away. Timeout on the floor, 2.46 left to go. Arkansas 74, Ole Miss 71. Back in a minute on the Ole Miss Basketball Network. Two minutes and 46 seconds left here in Oxford. Arkansas leads Ole Miss by three, 74-71. Well, we thought we might have a drop in the crowd because of the move from Saturday afternoon to Sunday evening, but 8,719 here. We got a packed house. Good crowd on hand for this matchup. At this point, Arkansas shooting 50%, 25 of 50 overall, 7 of 21 beyond the arc, 33%, 81% from the free throw line, 17 of 21. Rebels are 28 of 69, have had 19 more shots, but made only three more baskets, shooting 41%. Six of 19 beyond the arc at 32%, nine of 12 from the free throw line at 75%. Ole Miss is out-rebounded Arkansas 40 
to 28, but the Hogs have the three-point lead, 74-71. Yeah, Andy, very calm in that huddle. Said, guys, we, we're, we're right where we need to be. We're one possession down, two and a half minutes left. Uh, he drew a play up here just to get the ball inbounds, and then they're going to try to get something positive toward the rim. But he said, guys, we've got to put pressure on the rim, get to the free throw line, but overall plenty of time left in this game. Fortson has checked in for Arkansas. He's playing with the four fouls. Warren off the screen, hands it to White in the left wing. Back to Warren. Warren has Powell on him now. Now Arkansas is actually in a 2-3 zone, so they're just sliding players out in the wing. Warren's going to shoot a long three, short off the rim. Washington gets the rebound. Murphy Holloway was bailing out, headed the other way. He didn't even go to the glass. And Andy Kennedy yelled at him as he was headed the wrong way, not going for the board. Arkansas with the ball and a three-point lead down to Washington. Washington dribbles twice, spins on Henry, fadeaway, eight-footer, missed it, rebound, Polonese for Ole Miss. Polonese comes out of the pack with a four on three, drives down the left side of the lane, puts it up, it's blocked out of there by Washington to the near sidelines. Wow. Great hustle there by Washington. He was the guy who actually shot the ball on the offensive end, fell down, and as he's running back is able to, to go block the shot. Looks like the Rebels have a player on the floor too, David. It's uh, Polonese, I think, shaking up. Anil Polonese. Pulling on his toes. He may have a, a cramp there. 2.03 to go. 28 seconds on the shot clock. 74-71. Arkansas by three. Polonese comes up and heads toward the side. And, David, you don't necessarily – obviously, you don't need the three here. Two minutes left. you got plenty of time to get something to the rim. I, I know Andy would love for these guys to get to the rim and maybe draw a foul, get to the free throw line, and, and score without the clock moving. But uh, I think guys fall in love with that three-pointer too often. Ball inbound as Zach Graham has checked in for Polonese. Warren dribbles to the right wing. Clark with him there. 2-3 zone still for the Razorbacks. They're trying to push Warren out as far as they can. He's out at the center line with 15 on the shot clock. Now to Graham in the right wing to Tariko White. Tariko has it in the left wing. Fakes the three. Baseline to Murphy Holloway. His shot blocked there by Powell and grabbed by Fortson. He was trying to shoot a 17-footer and got it blocked. Arkansas with the basketball. Fortson to Washington. Minute 30 to go. Foul on Murphy Holloway. Got the elbow. Fans thought he got a clean steal. They say no. Murphy Holloway with his third. Ten on the Rebels. Two free throws coming up for Washington. Well, I'm looking at the replay, it's hard to tell, but. Right through back through in the double bonus. Washington will shoot two. A buck 29 left to play. Arkansas 74, Ole Miss 71, Washington at the line. Two shots for Washington, first one. Good. Biggest lead of the game for the Razorbacks. Up four now, 75-71. And precious time left, 129. Henry checks out. Polonese gets back in the game, so he's okay. Second free throw for Washington. But even if he makes this one, David, you, you still don't necessarily need the three. Now, if it's open, you shoot it, of course. 21 points, now 22 points for Washington as he makes the second one. Arkansas with a five-point lead. That's their biggest of the night. 76-71, a minute 27 left to play. Warren across the center line. The Razorbacks trying to upset 18th-ranked Ole Miss. Warren looking for a screen. Left side, Tariko White pulls, fires a three, way overshot, airballed it. Rebound saved by Ole Miss's Graham. Graham now to Murphy Holloway, driving for the reverse layup, pinned against the glass. Holloway gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. Murphy gets the basket. Big basket there, 76-73 with one minute to play. Arkansas has the three-point lead. Fortson brings it to the front court. He's dribbling at the free throw line, gets in the lane, feeds to Washington, back out to Welsh, now to Fortson. 23 on the shot clock, 50 seconds on the game clock. Arkansas by three, 76-73. Fortson in the right wing. Looking out front, gets it to Clark. Clark has Polonese tight on him. Polonese staying with him as he dribbles toward the left wing to Washington. Washington holding it, top of the arc, loops it to Powell, right wing, five on the shot clock. Powell forces up a long-range jumper off the back iron, no good. Washington rebounds, whistle, and a foul is going to be called on Arkansas. It's on Welsh, who drove uh, Tariko White out of bounds. Foul on the Razorbacks. Welsh with his third, eight on Arkansas. That will stop the clock with 30 seconds, basically 29.9. Rebels go the other end to shoot free throws, trailing 76-73. Yeah, great defense there by the Rebels. You didn't need to foul there. They did a great job of, of forcing Powell to shoot that long three, and then Tariko trying to box out, was pulled down out of bounds. Nice call by the official. One and one here for Tariko White. One plus one. These are big with 29.9 to go. Tariko White will toe the line. Arkansas 76, Ole Miss 73. Rico White taking his time, dribbles a few times, now ready. 
Run into the one and one. No, off the left iron, missed it. Rebound by the Hogs. Up the floor to Clark, foul. Rebels are trying to foul. 24 seconds. Clark is grabbed there by Polonese in the front court with 22 seconds left. Anil Polonese with his second, 11 now on the Rebels. Well, and you don't really, you don't want to foul that guy, David. I mean, I know you have to probably in this situation, but Clark obviously the best free throw shooter on the Arkansas team, but still plenty of time. Even if he makes both, it's a two possession game. Get something quickly toward the rim, uh, and then you've got to foul again immediately. 82% shooter is Clark. Those missed, missed front end of the one and one was huge a moment ago. Clark makes the first. 15 points for Rodney Clark. He averages 17 a game. Arkansas by four, making it a two possession game with 23 seconds left, 77-73. Murphy Holloway will check out as Gaskins comes in. Second free throw for Rodney Clark. Ready, puts it up, and this one is also good. Hit them both. Arkansas by five, 78-73. Backcourt pressure by the Hawks. It takes some time. Into Polonese. He hustles down the floor. Polonese hits Warren, threw it behind him, and threw it away. He tried to hit Warren trailing and threw it away, and, boy, this is sending the Rebel fans to the exits. 16 seconds left, 78-73, five-point lead for the Hawks. Well, you got, got to foul immediately, David, as soon as the ball gets in play, no matter who catches it. Well, she inbounds it. There's Clark, and Tariko White does foul him. And Tariko with his second. And Rodney Clark goes the other end with two free throws. It's almost automatic with him, though. Arkansas with a five-point lead with 14.7 left, 78-73. The Rebels are up 39-34 at the half, but the Hogs have figured out a way. Foul trouble, Herdison a post, and Arkansas Herdison inside for a long stretch. Clark at the free throw line. First one, good. 16 points for Rodney Clark. Arkansas by six. This one's huge. If he hits this one, it's a three-possession lead for the Razorbacks. Clark on its way, and he got them both. And Arkansas is up 80 to 73. Rebels have given up 80 points here at home to the Hawks. Warren in the front court, pulls up, bombs a three, off the back iron, rebound. Fortson has it in the lane, and that's going to be it. Five seconds left. He'll just dribble it down and run off the clock. 80 to 73. Uh, you tip your hat to the Arkansas Razorbacks. They came in here and got a huge win over 18th ranked Ole Miss. 80 to 73. Arkansas with the win. The Razorbacks improved to 10 and 11 on the year, 3 and 3 in the SEC. Ole Miss falls to 16 and 5 and 4 and 